Welcome to your home in Eagles Bluff, right here in the highly sought out Brock School District. Come on in, let's go take a tour of this gorgeous home. As we enter this gorgeous 2,843 square foot pristine Chris Thomas home, you will notice the open concept with this gorgeous ceiling to floor stone fireplace. This fireplace highlights this beautiful wood floating mantle with built-in shelves and cabinetry on each side of this fireplace. Now as we turn and we take a look, this whole side is just full of windows pouring in all the natural light and these gorgeous wood flooring throughout. And notice right here, they do have a floor plug making it easy for your electric furniture, your lights, lamps, and notice how this open concept living kitchen and opens all the way up to this vaulted ceiling with this wood beam, beautiful ceiling fan. Now let's take a look at this kitchen with this oversized island making a statement and separating the kitchen from the living with three pendants shining right down also right below this island is lots of cabinetry so moving over let's take a look at this built-in refrigerator under cabinet lighting, double oven, tons of cabinetry in this kitchen. And take a look at that vent hood with that gas cooktop, pot drawers below. It is a five burner with the knobs on the top. Right here in this island sets a prep sink with a pull down faucet and all the cabinetry on this side of the island as well. Now I wanna show you this walk-in pantry here with the cabinetry with glass, the countertops, another little prep station in here and it flows right into the walk-in pantry. And what I like about this walk-in pantry is all the shelving, but not only that, this builder added the outlet over there, which I like for any of your items that you wanna plug in and use inside that pantry. So moving on, I wanna show you this backsplash beautiful the colors that they have chosen the light cream with the dark wood flooring and over here more cabinetry and those windows looking right out to that backyard just beautiful and then your trash can drawer more cabinetry over here so if you love to cook and you love to entertain, this home is well designed with that in mind. Moving on from here, we are going to move back to the owner's suite. And it is right behind the kitchen, situated at the back of the home, and the wood flooring flows throughout with hand lighting and a ceiling fan, three huge windows, love all the trees that it looks out to. And then we're gonna move on and I'm gonna show you this ensuite. 
making our way through here to the left is the owner's ensuite and take a look at that that freestanding tub that sits right under that shower beautiful I like the little niches on each side to decorate and now these are dual vanities with one on this side picture frame mirrors and moving around to this side is the other vanity and let's take a look at this shower dual shower heads dual handles and all the tile is taken all the way to the ceiling and then look at that pebble stone flooring has a corner bench seat and take a look at what you can see from the window in the shower so let's make our way now back out of here into so right off of this owner's bath to the left is the owner's closet with plenty of shelves hanging space so right off this owner's bath step into this utility room and take a look at that gorgeous tile really pops this utility room and it has a utility sink Tons of cabinetry in here. Washer and dryer go right there. But what I do love is right across is another exit out into this mudroom. Right there off of that door, you go uh, come in from the three car garage with a mud bench. And let's move on. And we are going to move straight across on the opposite side of this home and in here to my left is a bathroom with a shower and then right on the opposite side is a door that takes you out to the covered patio and then this room is a flex room uh, or could be a bedroom it does have a closet could be a bedroom, game room, playroom, three large windows. So it, it kind of sets aside over here by itself with this bathroom. Could even be for a mother-in-law suite. And then moving on to the opposite side of the home is two bedrooms. This little area right here is just a like space. If you work from home, it would be perfect for an office. Could be a place for children to set up a desk. And then this is a secondary bedroom. So moving on into this Jack and Jill bathroom, we have dual vanities, one here, one here with granite countertops, and then another door that flows right in to where the bathtub and the water room, and look at that cabinetry built in there, very nice. Now moving on into this third room, upgraded carpet as you can tell. All the windows pouring in that natural light. Now moving on back out. So the owner's bedroom is on the opposite side of the home. The flex room is on the opposite side of where the two secondary bedrooms are. So now let's take a look at this foyer. I like how that front door is trimmed out, beautiful. And right here, this builder has added this 
wood barn door. Check out all that detail. And it opens up into this office. So the wood flooring is in all the main living areas office. Let's take another look at this. So moving on out here out of these double large sliding glass doors is this covered porch with this stone fireplace. It is already wired for a TV above the mantel. It is a wood burning fireplace. And there's the door that goes right into that bathroom. Take a look at this ceiling. Beautiful wood all the way down with all of these can lighting that really makes this covered back porch pop at night. So right here is a ledge that you could put some bar stools and right on the other side is the built-in kitchen with the grill built in, lots of prep space and all these stone columns, absolutely beautiful. So right on the other side of this covered patio, we have this built-in bar where you could put bar stools. I love the, the stone with the board and batten. And then right over here is a built-in grill with the stone and then the quartz countertop. So perfect for entertaining and just look at that view. All those trees, this home sits on two acres if you would like your own private tour, leave a comment below.